Scholarly Jerian history tries to convince us that Thucydides was born in approximately 460 BC, or 456 to 451 BC, and died around 396 BC. He was a wealthy aristocrat and politician from Athens. During the Peloponnesian War Thucydides was in command of the Athenian fleet, albeit unsuccessfully. He was subsequently banished from Athens for 20 years. He wrote his famous tractate during his sojourn in Thracia. Thucydides had received amnesty near the end of the war. He returned to Athens and died shortly afterwards. Historical tradition trusts Thucydides in his descriptions of military events, considering him an eyewitness and a participant. Thucydides himself writes the following, I was writing down the events witnessed by myself as well as what I had heard from others, after as meticulous a study of each fact as circumstances allowed. I have survived the entire war I understood it, and studied it attentively. The Thucydides Eclipse Tried is a very substantial argument proving that the history of the Peloponnesian War by Thucydides couldn't have been written earlier than the 11th century AD. It is most improbable that the Tried is a fantasy of the author, since in that case a fitting astronomical solution would most probably have been non-existent. It is also hard to consider the Eclipse as an apocryphal part of the ancient text, since they fit the consecutive and detailed narration incredibly well. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.